Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, you can see that I'm going to be doing this look for you guys and it's using the ABH Shadow Couture Palette. So let's get started. So my first step is starting off with a clean face of course and you can see I'm using this new product. Well, it's new to me actually, not so much new but this is the MAC Oil Control Lotion and I'm trying this out to control oils so I'm just applying it in my T-zone where I usually get oily. Now apparently this lotion does still need to be used with a primer so I'm applying my benefit professional primer right over top of that and I'm pretty much placing it in the same exact areas now I'm going in with my foundation and I'm using a lot of new products today so I'm mixing it with the NYX Pro Mixer in the shade white because this foundation is a little bit too dark for me so I'm blending it together to get my perfect match and I'm just buffing my foundation in with a Morphe I can't remember the name of the brush but it's just a buffer brush now I'm using this powder to set my face this is the Maybelline I think it's the dream velvet powder and I'm just applying it only in the t-zone again because I don't get oily on the cheeks and sides of my faces now we're gonna go ahead and start with the eyes and as my base today I'm using the NYX HD primer and I'm just smoothing that out all over my lids until I get an even canvas now I'm just correcting a little bit of a scar that I have there with some concealer and then I apply some powder again over it so now for the fun part I'm starting off my eyeshadow routine with the shade Morocco and this is a matte brown shade and I'm just building this up in my crease area just so we can have a nice transition color then I'm going in with the shadow called fudge and this is a darker brown and I'm using this to define the inner and outer corners of my lids because I'm going to be doing a halo eye and you can see that I'm kind of connecting the outer and inner corners in the direct crease and just kind of carrying it across so you can see that it's pretty much making that sandwich effect now I'm going back in and buffing out the edges again and I actually lost the clip of me doing the middle of my eye but I did fill it in with the shadow called intense gaze and now I'm actually taking those two brown shadows that I used to sandwich the intense gaze shade and I'm just using a smaller buffing brush and I start off with the shade fudge and run that across and then uh, right beneath that I'm placing the shade Morocco for my inner tear ducts I'm using the shade pink champagne which is pretty much a it's kind of like a foil like intense glittery shade and I apply that into my inner corners and then for my liner I'm grabbing my holy grail NYC liquid liner and I'm creating a cat eye wing. Now for my lashes today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. This has actually been a favorite of mine for like quite some time and I don't know why I've never really used it on camera. But I'm using this to pretty much beef up my lashes quite a lot because I'm not going to be using any lashes today because I was going to work. Now I'm actually taking it down on my bottom lashes as well because I find that it's really good with defining the lashes, especially on the bottom because it has that finer tip. Now that I'm all done with the eyes, I'm going into my brow routine and I'm also trying out this ColourPop Brow Pencil. I will have a review of this coming up very, very soon. I got it recently and I've been playing around with it for a little while. This is the shade Black and Brown and I'm just using it to define my brows as normal by combing it out and filling them in. Now I'm using the Anastasia Glow Kit. This is actually the Gleam Kit and I'm dipping into the shade Crush Pearl and I'm basically just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Now I'm going for my lip shade and to line my lips today I'm using the Rimmel Lip Pencil and this one is in the shade Coffee Bean. So I'm taking my time lining my lips and feathering it in a lot. I'm pretty much doing this because I'm going to be using a nude lipstick and I really want to make sure that it's going to blend in very 
very nicely. So I just take my time and make the lip line very sharp looking. So I'm finishing up the lips with a Milani lipstick and this is in the shade Matte Naked and I'm just applying that right around my lips and making sure that the edges blend nicely with the lip liner applied. And this is the finished look guys. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, we'll see you again. Bye!